Apparently we've got new stuff to play with today, so naturally I need to try and break it. My armor for once looks to be in decent shape. And this still exists, but I'm gonna leave it here so the game can suffer all day. We just need to make one little sacrifice. And that single ant was what I needed for the upgrade. Now judging by the thumbnails I've been seeing, it's something in the water. Oh, you brought me a present. Thank you. I can't. That was too mean. It's gotta die now. Then it doesn't have to feel the pain of loss. You didn't see a thing. For some reason, there's a lot of ants all over my world. Like, a lot of them. And I don't remember that being up there. Could you not? I'm trying to look at stuff. And we've got some new stuff to craft to use things like tadpole meat. So I have more creatures to investigate. And I would have to assume that's a tadpole. Lily pad wax. Oh, that can make a peplet, dagger, and fin flops. If those make me swim faster, I'm going to go make those right away because I don't have time for doing it the slow way. Hey, hit it. I want to hit it. Does it need to be one-handed weapons under the water? Why can't I hit things? If I can't hit things, I have no purpose here. So these make me swim significantly faster. I just need eelgrass and water boatman fin. And it looks like I'm going to need to make a peplet dagger to be able to do anything underwater. So we're going to make one of those before we dive back into the water. That frisbee also used to be where the boss was. So I'm kind of wondering if there's a boss down there. The game loves to mock me with crow feathers now. They're so easy to find, it's almost ridiculous. Not that I'm complaining. I certainly like building rings out of crow feathers, but I struggled for a long time just to find one. Made a single rope just need one small rock make that two rocks and then i can make this little guy so then i can do stuff under the water all i'm gonna do for now is maybe stab a few tadpoles but i need to harvest the stuff i need for flippers because i assume i'm gonna need flippers to go you know down there okay so far these are cut proof is this the stuff i need what is that thing come here i think i need your parts please slow down i'm not that quick of a swimmer I'm probably going to have to go back to the surface. I've seen you guys before. Of course, you're the one that goes straight towards me. Get out of here. Maybe these have more stuff? No, those just give me water flea meat. Even your inside parts are garbage. Now's my opportunity. Oh, it's already at half health too. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. I've got all day to chase you around. Please get in the corner and die like every good animal should. Come here. Whoop, going to get it. Yeah, there we go. Then we got raw tadpole meat and none of the extra parts that I wanted. There's a lot of aquatic life, but I still found basically nothing that I need. Oh, wait, here's some eelgrass. And my inventory's full. Uh, I do have a lot of bombs on board, so I could probably get rid of some of these things, or the water flea meat. How about that? I don't really know what happened to this one, but I'll take it. That's gotta be good stuff. Nope, just head pull meat again. That is one magnificent big fish. I'm definitely gonna murder that at some point, but I don't think we're there yet. You, I need your parts. Come here. It is in fact a water boatman, but it is also quite fast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch this. Could you maybe go towards the surface? I can't really breathe down here. Is this air? I really hope this is air or I'm about to die. What is this? Oh, you can. Oh, they're like a single air pocket. Okay, cool. Now, let's finish what I started. This one's stuck at least, so I can definitely kill it before uh, anything too bad is going to happen. Though I don't have a lot of time before I'm about to drown. Oh no! Oh no, the fin's getting away! And my inventory's full again. Okay, we really need to start organizing this. Okay, trash this whole thing. Now we're going to go to that air, but I also noticed that thing. That's definitely something that we will explore. Why are there spiders diving? Hello? You're a new spider. Come here. Diving bell spider. I need your parts, spider. At least with the spiders, they should come to me. Like, they're not going to run away from me, which is very convenient. This one is a little bit, though. Come here. I need your parts. And there we go. Uh, okay, let's make some room. We'll do it ahead of time for once. We don't need all these bombs. We really don't. I need four boatman fins. You know how long that's going to take me to chase those idiots down? You think it's stuck? If it's stuck, I could probably kill it with my knife. But if it's not stuck, it's probably going to kill me in like one hit. Well, it's not the stupidest thing I've done in the game. But it might not be the smartest. I can't even hurt it. Yeah, face me. Bite me. I can't even hurt it. What is this? Hello? I want to kill you. Yep. I see we're both pretty much invincible, so we'll call it a draw then. I need to go back to killing the other things. I would suspect there's probably some perks for swimming faster too, but we'll probably just have to unlock those as we swim a bunch. Free tadpole! It's going to be dark soon, so I'm going to go home and sleep, and we'll come back and murder things first thing in the morning. I also realized my new knife is almost broken already, so I'm going to need many more of these. I can analyze some of this, which means I can make a gill tube and a slime lantern. And this lets me make a bone trident, which I feel like is probably going to be better than my little knife. I can actually already make the gill tube, which gives me longer breathing underwater, so I'll certainly take one of those. I just need to go all the way back to my workbench to make it, because I forgot about it. I'll make the bone trident too, but I think I need bones in the very bottom of the pond to do it. Okay, 
back at the workbench, and we've made ourselves a gill tube, which replaces my very expensive hat, but I'm somehow okay with that. I mean, I can't use my bow and arrow underwater anyways. Thanks to my gill tube, I can now breathe underwater for 80 seconds. I'm not sure what it was before, but this is presumably more. And more breathing is probably a good thing. Unless you're one of these things, and then we need less breathing. I do like the adorable screams it lets out as you're removing its body parts. That's a nice touch. I definitely feel like I can breathe underwater forever now with this gill tube, so that is very nice. This one looked stuck for a second, so I got excited, but it's clearly not stuck. But it is now. Thank you for your parts. I appreciate you. Well, not very much, to be honest, but thank you. Now I just need one more eelgrass strand, and then I can come back and do the proper swimming. There appears to be no boss on this frisbee this time. I'm also going to change some of my perks around, like I don't need sharpshooter right now. I'll keep the one that boosts my critical hit chance, but I'll also take extra cardio and movement speed. Not sure if that applies to water, but it's still more useful than the other perks. So one set of fin flops coming up. I definitely have less armor to work with now, but I can move faster underwater and that's what matters. All right, let's see this new and improved swimming speed. Yeah, that's much better. I can go straight to the bottom now. So let's go find some of these bones that can make my new spear. Lots of spiders at the bottom. Someone's lost tool. So far, none of these bones that are supposed to be down here somewhere. Ooh, this looks fun. Find a way to turn the power on in the depths. Oh. Okay, maybe should have brought a torch, but I'll make do. I also have about 30 seconds of air left. Is this not air? What? Is this glass? Hello? Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, we're looking for air elsewhere. Probably gonna die. To be fair, did it not look like air though? Apparently I found the pond depths hatch, which might be down there, but I'm a little hesitant to go down caves right now. But we're gonna do it anyway because I just don't learn. I think this goes to the same place just from the other side. Uh, apparently I can turn those and that turns something on. So hopefully that lets me into some oxygen because I'm just going to go for it. And it looks like I'm once again going to uh, reload. Since the underwater cave mostly just seems to be killing me, I'm going to try and find the bones and make the trident for now because I need to stick with the things that I can do. Although there is a little cave kind of underneath where the big fish is, so that might be something fun. Or just a little dead end with a spider in it. Maybe I should go and make one of those torches that helps see underwater. Because that's a problem I'm having, I can't really see what's anywhere out here until I'm very close to it. For example, this thing. I have no idea what's down there, so I'm going to take a breath and go explore, and that's going to be wildly dangerous. And as soon as I go up to get air, I can barely find this again. Oh. So, that's a thing. And there's air coming out of this, so I can actually breathe a little bit down here. Please take me somewhere useful that's not going to kill me game. I think I'm back in that area that does actually always kill me. But I think I also just found a third switch because the bubbles blew me in behind something. At least I hope that's the case because I'm kind of tired of dying way down here. There we go. Enter the opening to the depths. And I really hope that's this one. I've got about 10 seconds left to live. Yay, it actually worked. Now I just need to decide what's valuable. You do something power grid control. Okay, we rerouted the power once again. Not sure where all of it's going, but it's going somewhere. This all looks very expensive and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, well, this would be the inside of the dome that I saw from out there. Did I? Oh, I opened it. So now I can see into the water. That's kind of cool. Well, go ahead and take that. I'm sure that's useful for something. Connected at 10 megabits per second. And apparently this part, it's going to make me swim. Oh, that just lets me out here got a mutation though or i thought i did oh wait it's down here and it looks like it's gonna make me swim a little faster so i'll take that they even give me a bed down here maybe i should just live under the water like this seems like it might be easier see this looks like it'd be a lot of fun but i can't actually interact with anything right here all right well looks like all we had to do inside was reroute the power so let's go see if we can find some of these bone spike things and maybe also see if me routing the power did anything so far it doesn't look like it the orb is just the orb but now i can see inside of it there this looks nice. Can I have some of this? I can actually catch these guys now. This is so much easier. Since I haven't yet murdered anything that's given me sunken bones, I'm thinking it's kind of like the mints and only spawns in a certain location. Do you have some bones I could have? Oh, okay, never mind. Guess not. I might need the spear to be able to hurt that. At least I hope so, because I want to be able to hurt that. The flying spiders are a nice touch to the game. So, uh... Are you just gonna hang out up there or i might have given up and googled it and apparently the dinosaur is actually the right spot to find the sunken bones this might be one of them now oh i need a shovel 
But that kind of sucks. I am a long way from my shovel. But anything is worth it for a new weapon. And it's easy to find if I just run out on lily pads, go straight down off the end of them. I'm actually pretty glad I still have my shovel. I almost got rid of it because I haven't used it in forever. Great. Now I get to run all the way back to the water. But then again, while I'm here, I might as well make a torch. One of the underwater variety. All right, let's see if this magic orb makes a difference. So far, it's just kind of illuminating the mud. Not super helpful, but whatever. As long as I can see the bones, I don't really care. And I can also make a knife out of the bones. Just gotta find a few more. It's still only level two, but I'm definitely gonna make one. But I still need one more for this. I don't know what a muddy scale is, but I want it. A koi fish scale. That's almost disappointing because I wanted to manually remove those from the fish, but I'll take it. There's definitely more muddy scales than there are bones, and I kind of want the bones more than anything. Here's two more. We're almost done with this stuff. Just gotta murder one or two more creatures, and then we can create some new gear. And that's bad news for you. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is analyze to see exactly what we can make. A whole koi set. I bet that's gonna take a lot of scales. And apparently this makes a bubble helmet, which probably helps my breathing, though I feel like I don't need to breathe any longer underwater. So let's make our bone trident and then the dagger. This is just an improved version of what I was using, but the trident is nice. Lots of damage, lots of speed. That's going to replace the bow while I'm under the water. The koi stuff is fairly expensive. Uh, its defense isn't actually that great, especially compared to something like the ladybug. So I'm probably not going to work really hard to get the koi stuff made. The bubble helmet, basically, yeah, you can just breathe for longer under the water. Not sure I care right now. But this thing looks fun. I'm definitely going to go stab a koi with this. Today's the big day and I really hope I can stab the fish. I feel like the fish is kind of stuck there and that might give me a good opportunity. Should I be able to damage it because something certainly has. Maybe there's more fish down here. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe I gotta stab it in the eyes. Look at me, fish. Here we go. Hey, I need to see your front side. Yeah, give me those eyes. And it looks like I can't hurt it. Maybe bombs work. Bombs unfortunately do not work underwater, but the fish finally came out of his hidey hole. I just can't seem to hurt it, at least not with the weapons I currently have. Now I did say I was going to try and break the game, and I fully intend on doing just that. Pretty sure that's a natural feature. But why stop with one? I'm uncomfortable with the sounds they're making, and I seem to be stuck inside of one while also surrounded by many others. Maybe now's my chance, I can kill them from the inside. Uh, I'm also drowning because I'm stuck in a koi fish. Who would have thought this brilliant idea could have any possible downside to it? The trick is just not to spawn too many at one time, otherwise it gets stuck inside the fish. So far the game doesn't seem to mind having all these kois moving around. But I think we're not too far from its breaking point. And I think one just murdered me. Now we're getting somewhere. I can't even close my menu because there is so many kois. You can see kind of the uh, massive fish somewhere below me. All their fins and stuff sticking out. But I, it's a little bit hard to move around right now because there's a few fish. But I do feel like I finally kind of uh, succeeded in my goal for the day. And exploring the new content and also breaking it. I need to try this just one more time in the water though. It seems like no matter what I do, I end up inside the fish. And there's a whole bunch of them sitting on me because you can see each individual layer. Some of them got free. Uh, a lot of them got free, but I'm still stuck under the water. Everyone knows that any good koi pond is actually made out of kois and not water. It's kind of funny because from the surface, nothing really looks that bad. But as soon as you dive under the water, you realize you can't actually move without touching kois. It's actually getting a little bit hard to swim anywhere because it's just kois everywhere. There's still some space down deep. But I also don't want to get trapped here because it's getting hard to swim. They bump me around a lot. I can feel things starting to struggle just a little bit. Because I'm just constantly adding a koi, it's about that fast to add one. Yeah, the game is officially not loving this anymore. But I sure am. You know what's good? When the fish can't really physically fit in the pond anymore and they're mostly sticking out. Oh neat, they're even starting to fly now. That's fun. It's kind of neat also removing the blur from the map because I can very clearly see everything in the distance now. Not really sure where those ones are going, but they're going somewhere. I have officially succeeded in breaking the game. Goodbye, my angel. It was nice knowing you. I wonder uh, how high it's going to get before it hits a barrier. Well, back to what I was doing. Is that it up there? Still paddling away into the sky. What's your excuse? Why can't you fly? Don't even get me started on that one. At least the ones on the far side of the pond are half flying. Still can't get over that one though, my little dot in the sky. I am legitimately impressed with the game because I thought it would have broken long before now. Broken as in I mean crashed. It's still going. It's probably technically broken being that there's fish uh, heading for the moon, but it's still running pretty good. We're getting more and more of the flying variety. 
This is fun. I guess once they get pushed out of the water, they don't really know what to do. Oh, there's another one headed for the moon. I don't know where the first one went. That's a high speed fish. Look at that one go. I think I'm starting to lose them about as fast as I can spawn them. Like there's one way up there. There's that one there. There's these four. And then there's still a billion under the water, but they're just kind of going all over the place. Not sure what happened. I got kicked out of the pond. Reality itself has rejected me and booted me way out of the trouble I was causing. But it's kind of a nice view from up here. I need to remember not to save my game like this because I will never ever be able to play grounded properly ever again. But I hope the other planets appreciate my fish. I worked very hard to do this.